Well, Rafs, thank you for coming and talking to us. First of all, how would you assess the current season to date? Um, so far, so good. Um, it's been it's been really enjoyable up to now. We that we started off really well, um, and yeah, everyone was running really smoothly, um, and you know, still is. Um, of late, we've you know, form hasn't been as good as what it was start of the season, but that's fine. It happens. Um, any any team up and down the country in, in any country are gonna a little patches, but overall so far it's been it's been absolutely brilliant, and you know we we've got we've got we've got to look forward to more of the same. We'll talk about the recent form in a moment, but firstly, I just want to ask you about your time at Portsmouth overall. How have you found it since last season? Yeah, found it found it really good. Um, you know, there's, there's been highs and lows. Um, started off really well last season. <clears throat> um, and then, obviously, I got it with a bit of a setback um, through getting injured, ended up having two operations, and then came back from that really strong, and we had a good end to the season. Um, and then, obviously, started off this season. So, football-wise, for me, it's been it's been absolutely brilliant. Um, we've done really well. We've won lots of matches. Um, yeah, and we've just we've just got to keep that up for the rest of the season. Hopefully, um, go on and, and achieve promotion. How have things been off off the pitch for you as well? I know you have a young family, so how have you all settled on the south coast? Yeah, it's, it's you know you know it's been it's been quite well. I've got um, you know my missus and um, my little boy, um, and you know they they love it down here. Um, my family come down um, every so often for for a game, and you know every time they come, they they always love it. Um, so it, it's it's been really good, and I think the the people down here, whenever I, whenever I speak to the people, um, you know, everyone's always really welcome, and you know, football's really big um, around here. So yeah, it's it's we've settled we've settled quite well, um, and yeah, we're really enjoying it. I've spoken to loads of the other lads, and they say how much time you spend away from the training ground together. How much do you think that can positive positively affect what happens on the pitch? Yeah, I think it's us. We've got a we've got a real, real tight knit um, bunch of people here, and you know we we do the, the tiniest things ever, like going for coffee, stuff like that with each, with each other, um, going for meals now and then with each other. Um, and I think it does. It brings everyone together. Some some of the lads are here on their own, um, so it's important that they they've got someone to you know talk to and stuff like that away from away from football, not just sat there in in the in the house on their own stuff like that so I think as a team everyone's kind of took it upon themselves to anyone like that to make make sure that the welcome feel part of a group and I think that's been massive this season. I think it's fair to say as well you're probably one of the bigger characters in the dressing room so how has it been since June since all the other lads have, have come in and, and helping them settle in? Yeah I think it, it's been quite easy to be honest because the lads who have came in are, are, are really good personalities so it's worked out really well and you know I, I do as much as I can um, to help them settle but you know the the lads have kind of clicked with each other the, the lads who have needed to and they formed we formed quite a big group rather than little small groups and um, that were quite one as a group and it's really good you know you, you enjoy spending time with each other you know especially when you when you're playing for Portsmouth you're away games you're, you're traveling quite a lot because because we're right down there in the south coast um, so you do naturally spend a lot of time with each other so it's really important that you're actually enjoying your time with each other and I, I think we are. Someone else who's arrived since you've been here is, is John Messino, the gaffer. How much have you enjoyed working with him? Yeah, I've really enjoyed it. Um, you, you know, we, when he came in, um, we didn't really know what to expect as it's his first um, manager job. Um, so we, we didn't really know but you know, we. I think himself he's settled really well and you know we're, we're really enjoying um, working for him and um, we, we listen to him we believe in, in, in what he's saying so it, it is at the moment it's really enjoyable so as long as we keep winning matches um, it will be really enjoyable. Earlier you spoke about your injury setbacks last season obviously a, a frustrating few months for you but in terms of this season how much have you been able to enjoy your football? Yeah, it's, it's been it's been great, you know. Um, yeah, I've kind of put put me in my injury last season um, to bed, and being able to just crack on with my football, um, and you know, I, I feel like I've been.
been playing quite well and been really enjoying it. So there's nothing better than, you know, playing every week and winning games. And luckily enough for us, we have been able to do both uh, up to now in the season. So hopefully it can c continue. We're talking after the Cheltenham game at the weekend, a, a difficult result, but elements of the performance that you can take and, and be pleased with. How have you and the boys reacted to that one? Um, I think we've just reacted in a way as what we always do. Um, you know, we're, it's it's never nice to get beat, um, but you know we're expected, and we expected of ourselves to go to places like Cheltenham. With no disrespect, but to go and beat them, um, and I think that's the pressure we put on ourselves. And we were unfortunately not able to go and beat them um, the other day. But you know, we we come in, we come in straight after it. We review the game. We work hard and put things right and there was a lot of good stuff in the Cheltenham game um, which we can take into the next game. You know, one result doesn't define the season so we've just got to keep keep working on the good things, make sure we, uh, we sort the bad things out and move on to the next game. And in terms of results, there was obviously that patch over Christmas as well. We also went on that winning run after suffering the Blackpool defeat. What can you take from those those wins after the Blackpool game and, and as you and the lads look to put things right? Yeah, straight away. Um, after we got beat from Blackpool, we, we were straight in. Um, we weren't overly worried. We, we got we got beat. So that's fine. That's going to happen. We made sure the next game put it right and then we, we did. And then recently there's, there's been a couple of games where you know things quite haven't gone our way and we haven't been able to get the results again that's completely fine um it's all part it's all part of the process um so you know we we just we just keep cracking on keep keep training every single day we're working as hard as we possibly can to put things right and that's what we'll do how's preparation been ahead of this weekend's game against Leighton orient yeah really good we we know uh, we know Leighton orient played them twice this season um twice away, once in the cup in, in the league. Um we beat them both times but, you know, the the no pushovers, the they're a real good real good setup. Um even the even the game where in the league where we won four 0 it, it weren't an easy easy game at all. So um we played really well that day and got the win. So, you know, we're, we're going into the game with real confidence, hoping for more of the same. And we're back at Fratton Park this weekend. How much have you and the boys enjoyed playing there this season? Yeah, we 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 love playing there, you know, that that's the reason we're all here basically. That's the reason why why I'm down here myself, because, you know, playing in front of the crowd at Fratton uh, week in, week out is something that really appealed to me. And we've we've seen it. We've seen this season the sport at times been absolutely amazing. Um uh, especially especially the Blackpool game to be honest with you, when, you know, we are four 0 down, there's people clapping us off, singing songs at the end, which was absolutely amazing. So you know, we we really appreciate the support and we're going to be doing everything we can to to achieve what we all want to this season. Yeah, the support has been brilliant so far. They've played such a crucial part to, to any successes we've had so far this season in terms of results. So how much are you going to need them at this weekend and, and how important are they sort of in terms of playing their part in getting a, in getting a result? Yeah, the, the massive. Um, you know, I've, I've been, I've come to Fratton Park as an opposition player and straight away the first thing that teams want to do is silence the crowd so that's that's the first and foremost you want to start silence the crowd slow the game down and that's that's team's game plans at times so we we need to make sure that we give them something to get off the seats we make sure that they're singing songs they're getting behind us and i don't i don't know if they know how powerful they can actually be at times um so they keep supporting us, giving everything they've got from the stands. We'll give them everything we've got.